It is a different kind of show. Even the two songwriters who first created it will tell you that. But Dear Evan Hansen is also a show that will stay with you long after the curtain falls. Here's our critic at large, Greg Moody. It began as a college project, something Benj Pasek and Justin Paul just wanted to write. So let the sun it was the kind of thing that we didn't think anybody would ever give us permission to write. It's not your typical uh, musical story, and it doesn't have the, this typical kind of uh, uh, sound necessarily of, of a lot of other Broadway shows, but we were excited about it. And no one has ever done anything quite like Dear Evan Hansen. Both songwriters say the show started from a very cynical place, but it grew from its sparking tragedy into a story of hope and healing. A story about uh, a young man and a family and sort of how their circumstances put them in this place where they, they're in need of healing. The show also captures that, along with a peculiar human trait, especially now in the world of ubiquitous social media. When a tragedy does strike, people, people feel a need to be a part of it, and we wanted to get to the root of that. Um, and I think, you know, we were really interested in exploring how social media has made us, as a society, uh, more isolated and seemingly more lonely than ever, but at the same time, there is the opportunity for real community and real connectivity. Social media, our reaction to tragedy, runaway lies and false assumptions. It's a different sort of show, one that will touch you right at your core. I'm critic at large Greg Moody covering Colorado First. The national tour of Dear Evan Hansen opening up September 25th at the Buell, downtown Denver. To be part of the excitement surrounding the best musical Tony winner, go to CBSDenver.com. We've got a link right into the box office.